Hey, how you doing? We've got a Horizon CT 5.4. I think the CT stands for Canadian Tire. Might be just a Canadian model, but in any event, uh, if you've seen my previous video, the control panel down here cacked out, fixed it over here with some buttons, so don't be alarmed. It works. But I'm not here to talk about this. I'm here to talk about the message that came up for my kid that said, lubricate belts. Um, I'm one of those guys who, uh, I don't always read the manual. I probably should. Uh, and I didn't know that actually you need to lubricate these belts relatively often. So the first bit of information I'll give you is that the manuals say you should do it every three or four months or every 40 miles that you do. So I'm not sure how often you're on your treadmill, but maybe 40 miles takes more than three months. But the point is that the material underneath the belt, it's like a cotton, uh, it can dry out. And one way you can test to see if you need to lubricate your belt just kind of take your hand, cup it a bit, slide it under the belt if you can get there, and then pull it out. And if it's slimy, eh, you're probably pretty good. If it's dry as a bone like mine is, uh, and it gets hot when you're on it, uh, it probably needs some lubrication. So I didn't know how much lubrication to buy, but on Amazon, I got three of these for $16 Canuck buck. And these are one inch, uh, sorry, not one inch, one ounce containers. And it turns out that that's what you need. You need one ounce. So this is good for three lubrications. And why do I have these tins? I've seen a couple of videos where people used rolling pins or baseball bats. I don't have a rolling pin or a baseball bat. But what I do have are these cylindrical objects. And the idea is when you're lubricating, you just need to spring the middle of the mat up a little bit so that you can reach under to about the halfway mark. And you put in half of your one ounce container. If you have a bigger container, um, it's a half ounce for each side. Here we go. Start with the little guy. Pulling this up on about the halfway mark, tucking it all the way, and crack the lid. Slimy, slimy. We're going to go for about half the container and just square it out. Maybe a little more. Slime it around, and I'm going to repeat. Over here. Put a little more in the middle back here. And bottle empty. Don't forget to take your cans out. And now what we're gonna do is hop on at a walk, maybe about three miles an hour, or whatever that is in kilometers. And we're gonna walk for about three minutes. And we're just gonna walk all over the belt. So up at the top here, I'm gonna cross left and right, and drop down a little bit, left and right, you're going to do this for three minutes, and we're just going to saturate that belt, and then you should be good to go for another 40 miles, uh, 60 something kilometers. And I'm going to clean up any spills, because silicone quite slippery stuff on how many accidents and the other thing I want to do 
is first, ha, safety infraction, if you don't do this, make sure you turn off the power. Can't hurt to unplug it, because you really don't want this thing to start uh, while you got your hand under it. But what I'm gonna do, lift it again, I'm gonna reach under and see how wet is it? Is it slimy? You know what? There's a little bit of a layer there, but I think that uh, since I've had this for a number of years and not lubricated, it sucked up more than one ounce. So I'm gonna use one of my reserve ounces Go again because I want to make sure that that has some decent lubrication. Uh, it's just been sucked right up into the, the cotton. So we'll go again until I've got enough on it. Okay, I've successfully lubricated the belt, but my magic message didn't go away. So I went on the old Googler and it told me that what you do is you press the speed up button and stop at the same time for five seconds. Now, for you, that's gonna be over here, stop, and I'm not sure if speed up is here or here, but for me, stop, speed up. Five seconds, let's see what happens. Two, four. What does it say? It says, it said clear belt okay. So I'm gonna turn the power off and try this one more time and see if it cleared. Success! It does not prompt me anymore for belt lubrication. So that's how you do it. So just in review, you hit the stop button and the speed up button concurrently for five seconds and you wait for two or three beeps that will let you know that it's been cleared. So good luck with your fix. And hey, if this was uh, of interest or value to you, this video, can you please give me a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. And you have a great day.